the Chevy Impala is definitely a good car. It gets great fuel economy with the base engine and offers a powerful available V6. The interior is spacious, and the rear seats have enough room for even tall passengers to stretch out. There are several user-friendly tech features, including several connectivity options, and the trunk is larger than what most other large cars offer. The Impala's only real drawback is that the base engine feels weak on the highway or when you have a full complement of passengers. But overall, this is a terrific car, its middle ranking is just a product of the competitiveness of the large car class. And as mentioned above, the Impala's score is just a few ticks behind the highest ranking cars in the class. It's definitely a strong candidate. The Impala compares favorably with many of its competitors, and it has a lower price tag than almost all of them. In other words, the Impala offers a lot of value for the money it'll cost you, there are still other cars worth considering, however. The Toyota Avalon and Buick LaCrosse both feature spacious, upscale interiors and come standard with relatively fuel-efficient V6 engines. They do cost a bit more than the Chevrolet, though. Chevrolet hasn't redesigned the Impala since the 2014 model year, and there are few notable changes for the 2018 edition. As a result, this overview uses applicable reviews and research from the 2014 through 2018 model years. The 2018 Impala has a starting price of $27,895, which is lower than the base price of nearly every class rival. There are a couple of large cars with starting prices similar to this Chevrolet's, but most are several thousand dollars more. In addition to the base LS, there are two higher trims the Impala LT and the Impala Premier. The Premier is the most expensive and has a starting price of $36,420, but it also comes well equipped. A fully loaded Impala will cost you around $40,000. The Impala Seats 5. Both rows of seats provide plenty of head and the groom, giving even taller adults enough space to stretch out. There's also good visibility for the driver. There are two full sets of latch car seat connectors in the Impala. The lower anchors are set deep in the seats, so they can be difficult to use. You might not confuse this Chevy for a luxury sedan, but it still has a well-built interior. The cabin looks fairly good, and the quality of materials is generally high. At nearly 19 cubic feet, the Impala has one of the largest trunks in the class. That space is enough room for several sets of golf clubs or roughly 14 carry-on bags. There are two engines to choose between in the Impala. The base engine is a 197 horsepower four-cylinder, and a 305 horsepower V6 is available. The four-cylinder feels weak, but the V6 delivers plenty of power and good acceleration. Almost every buyer will be better off with the larger engine. With the base engine, the Impala gets 22 miles per gallon in the city and 30 miles per gallon on the highway. Those are good ratings for a large car. Mileage drops to 19 miles per gallon in the city and 28 on the highway with the V6. The 2018 Chevrolet Impala has a few more standard features than the 2017 model, but it otherwise sees no major changes. That's a good thing, because the Impala was already a good car. The Impala finishes in the middle of our competitive large car rankings, but its ratings are only a smidge behind the cars at the top of the class. The Impala has a spacious cabin, a large trunk, good fuel economy, and user-friendly tech features. There are not a lot of reasons to dislike this car, and it deserves consideration from every large car shopper. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.